The Coonhound Collective Podcast is brought to you by CZ Welding and Custom Dog Boxes. Dog boxes built by hunters for hunters. Check these guys out today. This is your host, Jason Snurgrove, and I will be your guide as we journey down the road to pleasure hunt or hitting the long trail to those great cop hunts. This is the Coonhound Collective Podcast. Hey guys, this is Jason over at the Coonhound Collective Podcast. Is your dog box starting to get war? Maybe it's starting to get a little crack like mine is. Maybe you've just been thinking about it's time to upgrade to a to a new box, but you've asked your buddies and you're just not real sure what direction to go in. Well, let me help you out here. Go check my friends out at CZ Welding and Fabrication Custom Doll Boxes and Aluminum Products on Facebook. You can check out all their custom work they do there and their designs that they do. If you don't see something that you don't exactly like there, Reach out to Nathan at 540-810-5439, 540-810-5439, or send him a message through the Facebook page. I bet he can fix you up. Don't wait till fall to get that new dog box. Go ahead, get that dog box now. Get you uh, get you something looking good in the back of your truck that, that you can be proud of and that you can haul your dog around in comfort. Check my friends out at CZ Welding and Fabrication. You won't go wrong. Dog boxes built by hunters for hunters. Get yours today. CZ Welding and Fabrication. Welcome to the Coonhound Collective Podcast today. Today we are in Sullivan, Missouri at the Shriners Hospital Benefit Hunt. Uh, and I have Mr. Tom and Miss Lori with me uh, today. Mr. Tom, you, uh, you, you've kind of been around this hunt for a little while. Why don't you give us a little history about it? Uh, well, basically, it, it started back around 1984 or 5. Okay. Uh, the president of the state organization then was Neil Schatz. Okay. Uh, we've done this now for this many years now, and uh, it's always been for a good cause. And a lot of the people around the, the town and surrounding areas have donated for our auctions. It's really turned out real well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, had a lot of guys come to the hunts and it's just been a, a real pleasure to do this and uh i know lori she's she's here we you know i think we've raised what'd you say 200 and some odd thousand seventeen thousand yep. yeah through the years up to yeah. date so yeah and as you can hear in the background the auction's going on now and i've seen a lot of great prizes donated out there i know a lot of a lot of people have uh have, have donated you know some great prizes to help help raise more money and 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 like i told you before we hit record we're doing this to give recognition to people and to um that's okay and to um you know promote this for next year too you know right. to help, help grow it because from what i understand the numbers have kind of been up and down as far as hunters and participants in this hunt right uh, and i'm sure at one time this is probably a big big deal here well a lot of it just uh boils down to that you know now we've got a couple young guys that actually stepped up to the plate this year and yep. went out and did a lot of good. Uh, we just don't have that many young hunters anymore. Right, right. And it's we, you know, we we're hoping to build that up. But yeah. It's kind of just been a dying breed. Yeah. So. Well, but, we're going to have Colton and Larry on here in just a second after y'all right. get done here, and and we're going to talk about you know some of the people that stepped up and donated to their online auction and right and, and things like that. So. Um, so has it always been right here in this area since 1984? Or well, it, it actually started right here. And, and the one I can remember when it first started, that you know, when Neil was, you know, running the, in charge of it, we had a mule jumping contest. Uh, there was just a lot of, it was a two-day ordeal. Mm -hmm. And uh, just had a lot of things, even for the kids. We had a kids' bench show for the dogs and just had several uh, things happening at that time. And it just kind of had dwindled as far as right. what we have done. But, uh, you know, we've actually, it's, you know, we had it in St. Clair for uh, several years, I believe, wasn't, isn't that right? So, and uh, it just didn't have the pl public access there. So right. then we moved it back here and we just, you know, we were able to draw more people, you know, throughout the public. So. Right, right. So um, are you, are you in a, uh, 
a board member position with the state coon hunters association yeah i'm a, I'm a board member okay yeah what uh what what kind of um so the state coon hunters association are they the ones that put this hunt on or is it the local club here? it's the well it's the state coon hunters association and also the uh, st Clair saddle club they okay. have a a uh, horse show i think the week prior i think it was last week okay and uh, they're kind of affiliated with us somewhat okay okay and uh, so but yeah it's turned out really well okay yeah and so you always try to have it in this area kind of in relation to st louis I, i'm assuming. right yeah back in, in kind of the mid part of missouri right right right, right. so Ms. Laura, how long have you been involved with this? So um, I've been with Shriners Children's in St. Louis for about two years. So this is the second year that I've uh, been able to come down and um, to meet these people and just show some appreciation for all the hard work that they've done. Believe me, we know auctions, benefits, all that sort of thing is mm -hmm. really hard work. And so we just don't always um, be here to just show how much it means to us um, and to our kids. Yeah. Um, we serve some amazing kids and this money goes directly to them. So it's no small feat to raise um, money it, these days right. and then over 34 years to be able to raise with today's money, they're gonna be at about $230,000. So yeah. it's incredible. Um, that money does stay in St. Louis. It does support the kids. You know, one of our key factors is um, you get care there no, regardless of your ability to pay. So yeah. this means a lot to our patients yeah. who um, wouldn't be able to get the kind of care that they can yeah. at St. Louis without it. So super appreciative of everything these guys have done and bringing these two on board. I'm really excited to see kind of where this goes in yeah. the future for them. Yeah, I, you know, I, I, I kind of got in, not really involved, but, but uh, Larry and Colton kind of got a hold of me and I just kind of help, you know, help them promote it a little bit. And, um, you know, just, just seeing the excitement on Facebook with the online auction that, that they did, you know, that's, that's really got to, especially for the State Cooner Association, that's really got to, to, to put some excitement in, in y'all and, and, you know, what the future could hold, you know, with, with something like that. Because a lot of people really got involved, involved with this to, to really help. Right. I'm, I'm impressed what the, the two of these guys done. They, they did a fabulous job this year. Yeah. So. Yeah. Proud of them. Yeah, that's that's good. Well, um, if y'all don't have anything else to add, we'll get Larry and Colton on here, and I, I appreciate y'all being on here and appreciate you. you coming down and being here today. Yeah. All right, Absolutely. thank you very much. Yes, thank sir, you. thank you. All right, now I got Larry and Colton with me, and guys, I, honestly, you know, from, from the stories I heard and pulling up here today, there's a parking lot full of folks here and a, a room full of folks and a room full of um, prizes in there that uh, they're, as y'all can hear in the background, they're auctioning off. So, I mean, what I can see, it was definitely a success um, for raising money and uh, and promoting this hunt, and and hopefully this will will go on to promote for next year and you know keep some people excited about it. I, I mean, <clears throat> as y'all heard, Mr. Tom there, he's he's very appreciative of what y'all did, and hey, my hats off to y'all. I mean that that's that whole online auction thing. That's got to be it's got to be some work. For two of y'all to take on uh, it's a chore for sure i'm pretty sure both of our old ladies probably got tired of us being on the phone 24 7 looking at facebook yeah yeah well you know sometimes that's that's what it takes to to raise money for a great cause y'all guys done it done a great job raising raising money for these for these people and for the shriners hospital and you know, to to keep a hunt, I, I didn't realize this hunt had been going on that long since 1984, and to to keep this thing alive and basically just relight a fire under it um, this year, get some excitement around it. I, I mean, from what I see, y'all are the driving force behind it, so I, I'm sure they're they're appreciative as everybody else is for sure. So. Um, I know we want to talk about some sponsors and, and some people that uh, donated. And of course, you know, I'm going to talk about CZ custom dog boxes a little bit. Um, Nathan put dog boxes on his truck and brought them out here today, whatever it is, 14, 16 hour drive. I mean, that's that's somebody that believes in what, what you are doing, I, I believe. And, you know, I, I've said it on here before. Nathan's a great guy. He you know, he sponsors the podcast and he's, he's first that, you know, if, if I call him and say, Hey man, this is going on, he's, he's game to jump in there and, and, and be involved. And, 
you know, y'all got some pretty pretty good looking dog boxes out there to give away. Yeah, uh, he he's a plus man. Uh, he gave us a great deal on those dog boxes as well. So. Yeah. yeah, that's uh, that that's and that's important when you're doing stuff like this. You need people that's going to help you out, and uh, you know that's 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 really really cool of him to to actually deliver them out here. I figured he'd just ship them as far as it is, but when I talked to him, he's like, "No, I'm bringing them." I said, "Yeah, we kind of talked to him about trying to pick some up, pick them up from somewhere," and he's like, "No, I'm delivering them to you guys." And yeah. We were kind of unbelievable about it, but I mean, he 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 showed up and brought him here. So yeah. Not only did he deliver him, he's not even going to stick around to hunt tonight because he's got to be back home tomorrow at midnight. Yeah. He left out at midnight on on Friday. Yeah. Yeah, and drove drove all night to get here, and yeah, I, I mean, the, the guy's just a great guy. He goes, I mean, anytime I ask him to get involved with something, he goes over and, and above, and. You know, I, I just can't say enough good about him, and I'm so appreciative that he sponsors not only my podcast, but he stepped up and helped y'all with this hunt. So my hat's off to him. And what's the, some of the other sponsors y'all want to talk about? Uh, we have Bright Eyes Lights. They donated lights for our Final Four. Okay. Uh, Dakota Lights, they helped us out a bunch and uh, donated some lights for the cast winners. And uh, we have uh, Bushwhacker Coon Squallers. They, we got some uh, good deal on some Coon Squallers from them. Uh, and, and before you move off of Bushwhacker, I, I want to just mention something about uh, about Justin. Um, he, you know, he he bought the the, my, the stud ad, ad that runs on my podcast here, but not only that, he also bought the one on Coon Hunting University. And you know, it takes people that are willing to to see a good cause that that. Um, can, can get involved and, and donate with their dollar bills too to to support an organization like that. So that I mean, for him to even you know he provided y'all with the squallers. I mean that's that's pretty pretty good too. He also donated a breeding to Bushwhacker for us too. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's that's pretty good. Yeah, I think he was the second high score or high bid in the online auction that we did. So. Yeah, yeah, man, y'all had a lot of them on there. Yeah, yeah, we did. We sure. can't we can't thank everybody enough. There's too many to go through and name. I mean, we yeah. had pages on there, so yeah. but we do appreciate anybody that uh, donated a stud or a puppy or yeah. anything, a dog box, whatever they donated. We really appreciate that. So. Well, you know, I, I, and y'all may have some more sponsors to go through, and we'll, we'll go through them before we get off here. But uh, y'all set the bar pretty high this year, so we can't stay there. We're going to have to go a step higher. So. So you got any ideas for, for, for next year? What y'all got any? Y'all, uh, y'all, I mean, it takes a lot to, to organize this this hunt, and I, I don't know exactly where y'all two jumped into this and kind of took the bull by the horn, so to speak, um, to, to raise this money. But you know, it, it takes a lot to put a big hunt on and put an auction on and gather all this stuff. Do y'all got any ideas already for next year? Well, after after hearing how we jumped into it was after hearing the numbers how how far down they were last year and stuff me and colton were just kind of like we need to team up and that's too good of a cause to let it die down so yeah we decided to jump in and we kind of dove in head first and yeah, started so. all at once so, yeah. uh, no next year we're gonna do the same thing online again we're gonna try to raise some money that way and uh, we have a few ideas about trying to get some bigger and better prizes i can't say what they will be this year yeah right, know, yet, right. but we do have at least what we got now, but we're going to try to do better next year. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, and if you're listening to this, you know, we're we're, we're going to be releasing this in, in uh, 2022, probably the first week of October or whatever, 2022. So, um, and if you're listening to this, you need to pay attention and be ready for next year. I, I know there was uh, a few guys that wanted to come and things come up and they weren't able to make it. And, you know, this is – something you just need to mark on your calendars and, and try to be a part of. And, you know, I know we have the, the UKC world going on, you know, tonight, and but there's only four dogs something there. So there's plenty of dogs that didn't make it, myself included, <laughs> that are uh, that can be here hunting. I think the UKC world is only going to kind of hurt our bench show a little bit yeah. because the world bench show is today. Yeah, yeah. Um, I have a couple goals in mind for next year. And I don't want to shoot myself in the foot, but I say, because this year together between the state and what we did, we donated 13500 I say we shoot for 20000 next year. Yeah. 
Yeah, hey, I think that's a good goal. Um, and, and it can very easily be done. I mean, like I said, the way y'all dove in here and, and kind of, you know, took the bull by the horn, so to speak, and and and, and kind of spearheaded this thing with the, with the online auction. I mean, 20000 I think, is doable. And if you're listening to this and you, <clears throat> you have a uh, coon hunting supply or a dog food company or – um, whatever out there and you want to you know get a hold of these guys you can you can get a hold of me I can put you in contact with them and and help these guys get that goal uh, for, for next year you know and they can be writing stuff down and making some notes so when they get ready to start promoting they can reach back out to, out to you out there and make sure that uh, that they get you involved was there anybody that we missed that uh, we need to talk more about as far as sponsors uh, jumping off from the sponsors real quick, we also had Tyler Fisher. He really stepped up and helped us with organizing the auction, helping collect payments and everything like that. Okay. Uh, he's just kind of on the on the back end of it and not in the spotlight, if yeah. that makes sense. Well, hey, it takes all those people. It takes the, the – usually the people that are in the background helping, they, they're, they're doing as much heavy lifting as anybody. So, yeah, it takes all those people. Yeah, he definitely did just as much as us. I mean, he definitely worked hard and everything like that. I mean, without him, I don't think two of us could have handled it by ourselves because yeah. we were pretty off three swamped, you know. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Is there anything else to add there, Larry? Uh, we do have eye-opener coon squallers as well. They okay. They some squallers to us and stuff. So. Okay. We also and, got Joy Dog Food. That's a big sponsor we got. Okay. Yeah, I've seen some joy dog food out there. So Yeah, they provided us for all the hunt winners to have uh, some dog food and uh, the show winners as well to have some dog food. So. Okay, okay, cool. Well, guys, y'all done a great job. I, I, I was shocked when I, you know, after hearing what the numbers were and I, I rolled in here today about 1 o'clock and there's dog boxes everywhere. And uh, I, I think y'all done a great job. Um, and... You know, I'm, I'm here to help y'all. Like I told y'all before, I'm here to help y'all any way I, I can. And next year, don't don't hesitate to get a hold of me. We'll see what we can do to, to help grow this thing and make it make it even better and bigger. And reach that goal of $20,000. I, th- I think that's very doable for sure. Sounds good. Uh, one thing I do want to add, next year we are going to try to push to change this date a little bit, possibly. Okay. And uh, just so it don't conflict with. PKC Super Stakes and the UKC World Hunt because they're the same week every year. So we're going to try to change that date a little bit, and we're going to try to make this a two-night hunt next year as well. Yeah, well, I think that's a good idea. I think you, uh, you know, especially, you know, I, I don't know if you're thinking later or earlier or what, but, um, you know, you, we have so much going on this time of the year as far as major events. Yeah. And if you can move it, you know, one way or the other a little bit, then um, – you know, I, I think that will probably help you with your numbers as well, too. So that's what we're going to shoot for. But they're the state organization that has to vote on that and stuff, too. So, right, right. Well, um, okay, before we go, this is Coon Hunting Podcast. We've talked about Shriners and we've talked about uh, sponsors. Let's talk about some coon dogs. I've seen you at the zones. I, 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 obviously, you're here. You're not in Tennessee, so you're in the same boat I am. So, so. How, how was your zones hunting? Uh, well, I was just hunting a dog for a guy, and uh, truthfully, he didn't look very good. Yeah. Um, the main dog I usually hunt, he's down in Alabama right now with my partners. Yeah. Well, mine obviously didn't look very good either because I'm sitting here with you. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I will say Tyler Compton is who beat me on Saturday night on, on our cast, so I'm wishing him good luck. By the time this comes out, it'll be history, so he'll either be one or not. He's in the final four, so – We'll see. What about you, Larry? You been doing any hunting? Oh, uh, yeah. I I just had a baby, actually, of last week. So. Uh, oh, well, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. And, uh, but I, I, I've been hunting pretty hard, trying to prepare for super stakes and, and the world hunt coming up. Yeah. Uh, we had a little female. She didn't do very good at super stakes, but uh, managed to get a couple cast wins. But other than that, we didn't do very good. So what kind of what, – what is it, a walker? Or? Walker dog. What's yeah. she out of? Uh, she's off of Goose Creek Woody. Okay, okay. Yeah. yeah, so you're gonna take a ch- shot at the world hunt with her? Uh, I got, we got her and we've got another little female that we hunt. Uh, okay. She, I will probably try to give both of them a shot. Yeah. 
Well, are y'all hunting in like the zones or y'all just going straight over and hunting as close as y'all are? I think we're going to go to Good Springs. Okay. Where Colton's dog is at. So we're going to team up and go down there. Okay. Okay. Y'all going to Alabama? Yeah. Uh, I'm partners with uh, Nick Williams and Dylan Hovey. Okay. And I got to pick him up for the world hunt. Okay. But I just want to mention one thing. Larry will lie like his coon dogs will because they only <laughs> won one cast. Uh, yeah, well, um, why don't y'all go to Alabama? Y'all need to pick me up some boiled peanuts. What part of Alabama does, does he live in? Uh, Huntsville. Oh, he's way north. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm from the other end of the state. So, um, Okay, well, guys, I, hey, I appreciate y'all taking the time to get on here and uh, – share this information, give these sponsors some, some spotlight here and that's helped y'all out and raise this money. And uh, to all the people out there that donated, you know, on the online stud ad, um, that's, that's helped in any way. Um, I know I speak for these guys and everybody else, you're very much appreciative. Um, whether you got mentioned or not, you are very much appreciative. And like they said, there's just too many to, to go through a list and name them all. But uh, we hope all of you will get involved next year and, and maybe more. And like I said, if you're listening out there and you think this is a good cause that, and you own a business and you want to get involved with, reach out to me and I'll put you in contact with these guys and they'll get your name on the list and, and get, get ready for, for the next year. So if y'all don't have anything else, we'll, we'll shut her down. Okay. Thank you, Jason. Yep. Thank y'all. Thank you. Thanks, guys, for listening to the Coonhound Collective podcast today. We really appreciate you taking your time out of your day to listen to the podcast. If you don't mind, head over to Facebook and give us a like, and head over to Instagram and give us a follow. It's both at The Coonhound Collective. Also, if you would like to reach us here at The Coonhound Collective, you can reach us at thecoonhoundcollective at gmail.com. If there's someone that you would like to hear on the podcast or a product that you would like to hear talked about, please send it to thecoonhoundcollective at gmail.com. Thanks again. Again, have a great day.